It instantly boiled the, ra the water I used around the can to attempt to cool it. And I believe it welded this lid onto the can. Um, right now it is cooling in the can. It has already been reacted. And uh, you can see the lid is held on by the vacuum of the uh, cooling gases inside. So uh, my hope and uh, what has been evidenced with uh, previous testing is that this vacuum uh, is pretty void of oxygen, which uh, should keep the sodium from reacting until until um, it cools. And then uh, I'll be able to open the lid and pour in uh, mineral oil. Here you can see I have uh, poured mineral oil over over the uh, the newly formed sodium, and uh, it has halted the reaction totally. In addition, this is how I plan on storing it as soon as I, I'll take it out of there, filter it off, and uh, remove some ingots, hopefully, and uh, maybe remelt it into one larger one. So we shall see here. Um, here you can see the lid that uh, covered the reaction. That's uh, actually covered in quite a bit of sodium itself. Oh. Uh, falling over there. Let's see if I can pick this lid up. Bring it down over here. And uh, a little water in there. <laughs> uh, that was bright. Real bright. <laughs> Ow! God! <laughs> well, there you go. Get to see, uh, watch me get splattered by molten sodium. So, uh, hope that was fun for you. Okay, here in my hand is the largest piece of sodium I have so far found from this synthesis right here. Um, very metallic piece and uh, flexible. I can bend it between my fingers since it's a very soft metal. See, I just bent it in half. And, uh, yeah, that is uh, truly a piece of sodium. First uh, real proof I've seen that this uh, method really creates sodium, though I've it's pretty easy to tell if you've experimented like this at all. It's very obviously sodium and not an alloy of some kind. So, let's give this a shot in the uh, in a pot of water down there. I don't know if you can see the ball it has formed zipping around on the top of the water there. Okay, so I have developed a way to remove large ingots of elemental sodium, as seen here. It's kind of a little bit of a salmon silvery color. I have developed a way to remove those ingots out of this uh, raw material. And it's going to sound a little bit nuts, but uh, it's the best I got. Put water in this bowl and then put a uh, layer about a quarter inch thick of oil on top. A portion of the raw mix is taken and dropped into the bowl with a uh, with water with a layer of oil above it, and it will begin to react. But <clears throat> the ingots, as they heat up, will float on top of the oil and can be retrieved just like that. That is an ingot of sodium. It's a little bit wasteful since some of it has to react, but uh, it's the only way I've found so far of separating raw sodium from uh, from the mixture. Okay, so after uh, using a good portion of um, this for testing, this is what leftover sodium I have. I'd estimate it to be about a gram or so. Uh, but it is uh, it is sodium separated from the slag, so I achieved my goal for today. And uh, I guess uh, I'll catch you next time.